All right, I'm gonna make me a quick four ounce black powder rocket. And this is just some 75, 15, 10 mixed up and granulated. And then I've squirted, oh, a couple percent of moisture in there, some water. We're gonna use that. Now I'm gonna figure out where to set my pressure on here. So a four ounce BP rocket, I'm gonna do it at 8,000 PSI because I have better luck up there. So that's 1,568 pounds of force. I'm just going to read my power to force gauge right here. <clears throat> it goes up to 6,000. This is a smaller one. And it reads actual PSI. So we'll just put it right there and push the button. Crank it up to about 1,568 pounds. Now we're ready to go. Slide that on my spindle. My spindles are all built tight like that. So they hold the tube nicely. Slide the tube support on. Oh, it's been a long time since I made a little baby rocket motors. These are tiny. They can be fun for a new guy and they're great for lifting small headings, trying new stars out. Just make sure it's all down flat. Give it a little snug, tighten it up. We'll be ready to go. I got my little baby funnel. I'm going to use just a standard black powder kit. That's just a with the convergent and divergent on the spindle. I'm going to make it nozzleless. I don't want to fool with a nozzle. So I'm going to use just under half a teaspoon as my increment size. The first increment will be just a little bigger than the other ones to get past the divergent and convergent. That was almost too little. Just right. You guys have a, if you have a little arbor press you can press these up or you can hand ram them easily it is nice to have a good little support so you don't bend that spindle these are stainless spindles and they are pretty durable but it doesn't take much to tweak one I'd sure be scared of making anything else out of a aluminum spindle like that in a half inch size or something it's just takes one little hit and you've got a bent spindle and then nothing lines up and your rammers are jamming. Oh, it didn't quite get enough. We'll be at the change rammer line. Third of the way home. Hard to grab for my little baby hands. wet's trying to grab a little and you got to check see we're getting a little build up in there just knock that off and keep trucking these little rockets aren't bad about getting stuck but the bigger ones sure will when you get to them almost done with this ram the last one for it
I believe that one was past the line. Now when you get up here, you can start adding a little titanium or something to the delay section. We're almost to. This is the last increment on that. I'm not going to add anything to this one. Just going to make up a regular rocket black powder all the way to the top. And this is actual just black powder, 75, 15, 10. You'll notice I don't use any hole in the top of my support. I don't like that mess. This is way cleaner. It doesn't catch any. It doesn't catch any mess up there. And you just have to be gentle here and you can fill that right to the top edge and press your last increment just fine. There we go. Now let's take it off the support. These are super easy to get off. Loosen the bolts a couple turns. Give the support a twist from the sides. And they'll just fall off. And then the rockets will just spin off without that nozzle in there. And a little moisture in there gives it a nice shiny fuel grain. That's a good little rocket motor. We better stick it up and light it.